resellers at Devon. It's Monday, October the 2nd, and welcome to fourth quarter, Q4, right? So let's be sure and check for our shipping coupons. And I think maybe promoted listing vouchers if we have a store, although I think those come out quarterly too, although I'm not like, I don't even want to talk about promoted listings right now. That's another video. So this is just, um, I thought I'd go over the weekend sales that I'm getting ready to ship out. I've already gone downstairs and pulled them. They're all here. And um, then the rest on the computer, oh, excuse me, and then the rest on the computer, um, like highlights from, you know, last couple weeks or so. So what's going out so far again i've already pulled these from downstairs um joe fit just golf shorts joe fit golf shorts um 14 oh i ran a sale actually it's still on until tonight or tomorrow night 20 20 percent off sale i think i started it saturday morning a little late i usually try to start it friday night so um and then sometimes, you know, when you run a sale, you still get best offers come in, right? Ah, but anyways, it's your call. I love best offers. That's what I do. Joe Fit. Let me show you this this way. That's what the embroidered logo looks like on those. It's a golf athleisure brand, stretch shorts, you know, engineered for movement and comfort. Um, $14.40 was the sale price on that. So I won't be in a hurry to do that again, but they were so nice and clean. And I knew they would eventually sell. Pay $2.50. I've sold this brand before, Meslin. Let's see if I can get that for you. And they sold pretty quick. The last ones I think I got about $54. These I got $37.50 $37. and $7.95 shipping. I think these are so would have sold quicker if they would have been just a tad bigger size but anyways they did sell this is unbuckled but this is a monk strap is what this is called cap toe these are all leather of course leather sole is important made in Spain so actually let me pull that up the keywords on that because if you're like me we're still trying to figure out you know the shoe game let's see is that clear I don't know. I'll just read it. Meslin shoes, men's, monk strap, cap toe, black leather, Athens, that's the name of the style. It has its name, like a lot of shoes and some apparel will have specific names for their styles. Spain, 10W wide. Uh, made in Spain is what the Spain stands for. So Meslin again is a good brand on the men's shoes. Definitely. Definitely. Okay. Um, let's see. Tommy Hill figure. We all know to do Tommy, right? These are some carpenter pants. A little low key, you know, not a bunch of bling, but enough to make, you know, to make it interesting. Slightly vintage, I'd say, you know, just barely, you know, in the 90s. So I've gotten as much as 30 to 38 dollars for some of my vintage or 90s retro Tommy jeans. These only went for 18. I don't know what the problem was. Maybe too low key. Maybe not enough spell out, not enough bling on them. Okay, let's move over to here. I did sell this. Yay! It took a little longer than I thought, but I did sell this. This velvet burnout ombre, you know, with the lighter to dark color ombre. Velvet burnout. It's velvet, but see how you can see, you know through like as if it's cut out but this is sheer fabric and um i don't know if i'm saying this right triscally trilesque i don't know something about this um three <laughs> three legged spiral anyways celtic that qualified for me to use the word celtic in the tie back all right lularo i am just about over Lularo. Um, this took way too long. I went ahead and let this go for 20, which seems to be about the average price for maybe even slightly above average for the Lularo maxi skirts. 
unless it's one of the really epic prints, unicorn prints. So, two fifty into twenty dollars, three ninety five shipping. In my opinion, took too long. Okay, there we go. So Lularoe, kind of like a Tupperware ladies or whatever. The, I don't want to be rude. That sounded rude. But that's off the top of my head, that's what I can think of. They buy the inventory, they have their little pop-ups or their home parties, and they sell Lularoe. The reps are not allowed to sell on eBay, the last I heard. So there's a little bit of contention with those of us that do sell it on eBay. But as some of the reps are feeling a little disillusioned and they're dumping their stocks, it's finding its way to eBay, either through that avenue or maybe the reps themselves figuring out how to do it. But the game's pretty rough right now for LuLaRoe resale. You gotta really watch what you have in your pattern and how much you pay for it if you're still gonna try to sell LuLaRoe. This is probably gonna be my last piece, like I said, unless it's maybe a dress or something really, it's the pattern is awesome. I know that it may, that someone's really gonna want it, maybe limited print or just so super cool, right? Okay, talk too long about that. Most of us know what's going on with LuLaRoe. Okay, this went out. This was a couple of hauls ago, $16. Um, again, Velvet Burnout, Shrug, Crop Kimono. Those are some of the keywords and some of the descriptives that I use for this. I knew someone would love it. I knew it would go pretty quick. So $250 into $16, that's fair enough. I, it's just a pretty piece. Three people. Another thing that I'm starting to be way more iffy on. This is one of their metal tags. There are a lot of different tags. Half price, I paid $4 because this is pretty. It's a copperish, um, a matted metallic copper. Um, start over. A matted metallic gold, if you kind of get my drift, um, and made in Italy. So I thought that might give it a little bit more clout. Pretty cool cardigan. And then the muted or matted metallic is kind of a hot look right now without the bling. Just the uh, a little bit of metallic, as long as it's muted, seems to be really hot right now. That's kind of where the trend is going. So only $20 for this. $5.95 shipping because it is going to have to go into a padded flat rate envelope. Yes, I'm still at $5.95 on that. On some things, I'm going up a little bit. I just haven't found a comfortable number. You know, most of us, if we're doing the commercial plus rating, we are at, what, $6.30, something like that for a USPS padded flat rate envelope. And um, priority for when things are over a pound. Um so on some items, I still just put $5.95. I think that's a more pleasant number, and I just eat the eBay fee and the little 35-cent gap. Whenever I think I can get away with it, you know, I try to cover that and, and up the shipping just a little bit more. All in all, my shipping always equals out just fine by the end of the month. Some things I've made a little extra on. Some things, you know, I've had to kick in some. But by the end of the month, it's usually just fine to where it covers all my shipping, my eBay fees on shipping, and, you know, all my poly mailers and, you know, my tape that I buy and my thank you sticker. So I'm fine with what I have going on with shipping. Anyways, that was a padded flat rate envelope. I'm sure everyone knows by now. Where are we? Um, <laughs> $14 with holes. Um, I bought this because it's Chris Angel, not a whole lot of them, and it's a Cirque du Soleil collab, and I just like, you know, he's that magician, that street art magician who's gotten kind of big. Well, who's the other guy besides Chris Angel? I think they do Vegas a lot now, and sometimes they're on TV, have TV specials. Anyways, this was from one of his shows, so, you know, real $14, I don't know, I just wanted to sell it, I didn't want to leave it there. Here is that Comfy USA, which is a good label. Comfy USA. Okay, that's a good label. And this is a cool shirt. This is that deconstructed tunic blouse. I talked about it on IG. So if you want more information on my thoughts on this, um, it's on there. 
If you're not sure what I mean by this look, you know, you can go look at my souls and look through the pictures. I usually always fill up all 12 pictures. Anyways, um, this is one that I probably should have put on auction. I don't do a lot of auctions. Um, I'll run through some clearance items, some old stock to try to get rid of. Or if I run out of my free listings, my monthly store subscription listing um, amount. I might, you know, use up some of my auctions. This is one where it probably should have went on auction because right away it started getting watchers and offers coming in. And I think I put it up at 38. I went ahead and let this go for 31. What if I had it to do over again, I would put this at auction. I would probably start it at around $30 on auction and hope for a bidding war. I think that's what might have happened for this to where I might could have got just a little bit more for it. But anyways, it was pretty interesting to see how much um, this look is loved. So $350 into $31, and it was a fun ride on that. Okay, guess what sold? <laughs> Finally, so cute. That Youth Guild, Youth Guild Mod Dress. See the pocket? Isn't that cute? And this is the back. So that finally sold. This got a lot of interest. That finally went, when we closed, I sold something. I sold Nuva Tags White House Black Market Ship Dress. Lined Nuva Tags 14. Um, buyer paid $28.95. So she must have bought it. My sale must still be on. I didn't check, but apparently my sale is still on. Because that's an odd, you know, number. Okay, so, sorry, back to this. I love this. If this would have fit me, I might have tried to wear this bad boy. Okay, $36, so not too bad. I tried to get a little more, but I'm happy. Um, she really loves this. We kind of had a little conversation on eBay back and forth, eBay only. And she really wants this and loves this, so I'm proud of where it's going. Um, a men's blazer I finally sold. I... I don't know if I messed up on this, if I'm off my game or what. This does this is one of the lines of this designer. As usual, when I'm filming, I can't remember everything I want to say, but the name of this designer that uses this. But this is um a lower price point um from this design house. And it's super cool. Look at it. Like a, a sheen blazer, lightweight jacket. It's got so many cool details. I thought, oh man, some suave guy is going to love this. You know, some hipster or some real suave guy. You know, even, you know, could, this can go for work or downplay it with jeans. I don't know why it took so long. So um, I included it in a sale, even though I thought, well, you know, we're in fall now. Let me just leave this alone and see if I can sell this during fall. But I went ahead and included it into the sale. Um, hang on one moment, it's coming. Okay, twenty dollars. I got six ninety five shipping. This is going to Georgia. Okay. All right. So that's the highlights of what I'm getting ready to ship out right now, and I'll probably go over to the computer and um, do some screenshots of highlights from the last week, week and a half. It's been a while since I've been on. I already whined about my family problems, but thanks for all the love and support. Everything's good. Thanks. Um, and I'll show some highlights with screenshots and I'll blend these together. Okay, so we're going to pick up now um, on the computer. Just some highlights, you know, from last week or so to add to what we just saw is going out here on Monday, October the 2nd sales from over the weekend. So here are some other sales. We're looking at my computer. We're looking at the store. Um, Vince t-shirt, lambskin, leather sleeves. This t-shirt went for a little more because it has the leather sleeves. Um, that is a good label, Vince. Tommy Bahama, silk puffer. Hope to get a little more from that, but that's where it went. Hey, there are those Pop Rages leggings. Someone watched the haul video and helped me out with that pattern those were actually this this label pop rages 
Reminds me, like I said in the haul video, of Black Milk. Not quite as expensive. They're not quite as thick, but they're thicker than, you know, just like a pair of leggings from Walmart or whatever. Pop Rages. But the print on these was turned out to be Disney's Haunted Mansion. Haunted Mansion. So, um, I got, tw let me see, 20 80 I put them on sale. There's that dress we talked about. I uh, don't want to talk about that. That was a mistake. Victoria's Secret mistake. Those shoes actually came back, but she was totally honest. I just got them back today. I'll relist them. She was totally honest, so I didn't have to pay shipping either way. On this Nordic Fair Isle sweater, let me move me. Um, normally, I would get more for that, but this was just a Carol Reed. Um, not, even, not made anywhere in Scandinavia or anything like that. It just had that Fair Isle, you know, look, copycat look. So that's why I took less. If this would have been a different label and actually made, you know, in one of the Scandinavian countries or European countries, I would never take anything less than like 38, 40. Um, some of them can go for even more. So we talked about that jacket on Instagram and on the reseller stew. That was one of the finds when I was stuck up in the mountains with no cell phone service, but still managed to find a goodwill and uh, found that on their Halloween rack. That was vintage Andrea Isabella, made in Mexico, I believe. And it was a real soft butter leather in the front, black thick ponte fabric on the sleeves and back. So it, was, it had a good range of fit and ease of um, movement and comfort. So those are some of the keywords I used for that. I paid $5, I took, I think 50 on that that went pretty quick sold the kate spade shoes free people i'm over this right here i bought for myself and then decided i did not like the pink unfortunately it was a rue 21 sweater so i'm like great that's you know but anyways um i didn't talk about rue 21 i did put it in the item specifics but i sold this on style so i did manage to get some of my money back and make a little extra two on that because that again is just a rue 21 so don't totally recommend it unless you're okay with that kind of a profit margin. Another Tasha Polazzi. Polizzi? That's a good label. Um, this is a lower end piece. Some of her dresses, like we talked about on the reseller stew, um, can go for you know up to the thousands um, with still having a good resale value too. So if you're into women's clothing and you don't know this label, I personally just learned it myself like six, eight months ago. Um, I believe it comes out of Houston, Texas. I don't know if they actually make it there, but that's where the design house, I believe, is from. So I'm starting to find a lot of it. Um, but Tasha Polizzi, she does a lot of Southwest ranch high end. Think like Scully, that kind of um, price range as well. Um, just a little vintage, not much of a dress, but it was vintage retro. Why is this not moving? Okay. Um, this was cute. I actually bought this for myself, but it was a little too big. Um, it was an Antonio Milani, Milani, which is an okay label. Uh, I sell a lot of their sheath in, for career. This was real pretty. Silk overlay, all embroidered, white on white on cream. Very romantic looking. So that's how I tried to sell that dress. And I did. Some Spanx, these are um, Spanx under black leggings, under black wide leggings. I usually pick up anything Spanx if it's in a good um, good condition, any of the control stuff. Um, some vintage leggings, whoops, sorry y'all, whoops, whoops, whoops. Some vintage leather pants, those went to Korea. And I'm having trouble with this. Frank Lyman, that's a Canadian label. So there's that stuff sells. That's a Canadian label. That was just a little um, sleeveless tunic. We talked about the homies. Now this I took 38.40 for. David Gonzalez. This is one of his um, vintage T-shirts from the homies line. One of the ways he got his start. He's since moved on to different types of art. But when we were talking about it on the stew, I think Deb and Tanya both said they had sold some homie plush dolls. 
So um, some people might still be collecting the Homies line. So this was from 1993-94. And so I got $38.40 for that. So good call on that. Obermeyer's hit or miss. If this would have been a more epic pattern, I think it would have done better. Um, sold that. Uh, we talked about this on the last haul. Kahala being a pretty good brand for the connoisseurs of um, Hawaiian shirts. That's a pretty good brand. Uh, so I did sell that and the Jams World. I think I got 38 for the Jams World. Lily Pulitzer. I almost missed this dress because it's not kind of what I look for when I think of Lily Pulitzer. Basic black lace dress, but there it was. Let's see. Let me open this up because I'm not sure why this is. There we go. Simply Couture. I don't know. It just would look like quality. It reminded me of... Um, Soft surroundings, kind of that crowd and that look. All things fabulous. I let that go for 30-ish. That did sell. I am looking at this as if I was um, someone else or looking at my account so that it doesn't have customer names, um, account wow. names on it. So that's why it's not reflecting exactly the best offers. But I'm telling you, so I think around just above 30-ish for this, All Things Fabulous. This was new to me. A-T-F, All Things Fabulous. Do you remember ah. that? That's kind of up there with like Wild Fox and um, with the shirts, that are oversized shirts. They're going to have some kind of graphic on it or saying and text that's real popular right now with the younger socialites. Don't know how long that will last, but it's going pretty strong now. Again, brand new. This was probably around 140 150 so that's why I was able to resell that I always always buy Kyodan it's this it's not as good as Lululemon but it is up there and it's an easy sell especially what I buy at the Kyodan is anything that's ruched um, of the Prana Athleta any of the ruched training pants excuse me training pants sell well Tommy Hilfiger denim skirt this was a oh, hello hello boy it's temperamental this I sold twice um it didn't fit they sent it back they were honest so I did not have to pay any of the shippings I relisted it and it immediately sold again for around 30 32 so happy about this I did sell that Tory Burch even though I had to replace a button and I couldn't find anything that I liked that would match. You'd have to look at the listing to see how epic these buttons were. They were two part buttons where the gold base um, on the edge of it had said Tory Burch, Tory Burch. So there's like, there was no way. I did try to find a replacement button on eBay, but I couldn't find anything just like it and in the right size. So I just went to the store and I got kind of a metal button with a crest on it, you know, something to look cool. And I put that on there and I disclosed it and, we, and I talked more in depth about it inside the item description and I let that go for about 40 so I was pretty happy about that okay uh, there's the Jams World um, shirt the again there are some connoisseurs of Hawaiian shirts and specifically Jams World so I tried to find the pattern name I don't think I did because I don't see it um, that, that didn't take very long to sell. I did sell that Nanette Lepore dress. Some of her dresses, the price range is all over, okay? So this was probably about moderate price point for resale Nanette Lepore dress. It was silk, that helped, um, and the tropical print was really nice. This was something I bought on a whim. I just thought, this is just so unique. Um, it's gonna have to wait for the right person, and it did. Um, it was made from in Amsterdam. I guess Pip Studio caters to the sewing crowd, the quilting crowd, the I don't know all the things they might do, cross stitch. And so this had like sewing machines and patterns and all those theme related things on this shirt. And um, it must have just been a little promo thing they do. And someone really wanted that bad. And I think I accepted a pretty, pretty close to that price because um, she wanted that shirt. Some shoes, David Klein, um, an okay label, nothing to get excited about. I just bought it because it was stretched velvet and tie-dye. 
thought it might go to a certain demographic. It took longer than I thought. I probably wouldn't repeat that again. Um, Kenneth Colzak, it probably won't repeat that. Lauren, Lauren Conrad. Um, I'm not big on it. It's got to really be something cute or a nice collab. This was a Disney. This was off the um, Snow White. So, Moth Anthropology. I'm so starting to be so picky with my anthropology. Calm Rob is always good. The dresses are better. Eileen Fisher. This actually came back. Sorry. So, it's back up. Sold something out of my own closet. Um, I did disclose that I had it taken in. It was a size 12. I did have to take it in to make it more of a 10. So it finally did sell. It is a gorgeous vintage coat dress with velvet. Gorgeous. I am not even sure why I sold it. Sold this thing we talked about. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. It wasn't 48. It was less than that. I think around 30-ish. This was a very vintage piece made in Japan. Let me move this. Made in Japan. Um, it did have a little logo there, PB logo right there. Someone bought that though. I knew they would. That's a very high-end designer. This piece is, you know, so-so, but very vintage. Again, made in Japan, but the designer is up there and there are collectors of that. Um, this is sold, I think, on the Home Shopping Network, Carol Wire or War. This was an unusual piece, a jumpsuit with a maxi skirt dress like and then wide legs underneath and then it was also all control from here to here. It sold twice. <laughs> Finally the second person it fit and she totally loves it. It's a very unique piece and you know I like to do that. Although it does take a, a little bit longer to sell those things. Cool is okay. Um, pants will do better. There's a vocal. We were talking about vocal. Um, this would have got more money if it had longer sleeves. Project Alabama. I think this was for anthropology, if I remember correctly. These pieces, this went pretty quick. Um, you might want to remember this if you don't know it. Project Alabama. Some of their pieces, uh, the resale value is really good and up there a little bit. Victoria's Secret. These were all sequin, real sequin panties. Go figure. I'm going to just about wrap this up because some of this we've talked about already. Um, my five-year-old scavenger life method of selling, list it and forget it. Don't worry about it. If you like it and it's cool, just get it up there and don't worry. That's what this was. Five years. <laughs> I don't care. They were live action glasses. When you tip them over, they got all bubbly. And Guinness is one of the beer collectible labels to sell. So they were only 99 cents a piece, so okay, it took five years, I do not care. I really don't even like selling liquor related items. Um, these were just kind of cool, but I'm not really into that kind of thing, but I knew Guinness was good. Again, this was five years ago. I've made different decisions since then, but it was still a slow roll on turning over that $2. <laughs> Alright, you guys, I think that's about catches up, like, you know. There's another LuLaRoe. We already talked about this. This is a great label. Okay, that's a great label. Right there, Age of Love, Natalia, Natalia. Natalia. This was in the um, lingerie section for like two or three ninety-nine, $46. All right, you guys, that's about it. The rest you can just peek at yourself or I think we've already talked about last month. All right, you guys, I'll see you later. I'll see you on one of your videos. Thanks.